The uh, most uh, causes for off-campus fires uh, on the national ranking is uh, heating and cooking equipment, smoking, discarding, improper disposal of smoking materials. Uh, candles are a real big issue. So a lot of it is uh, walking away and leaving uh, the cooking unattended and then uh, stove fires created. The other thing people do is they'll, uh, they'll put stuff in the oven because they don't have enough storage and they'll forget and turn on the oven um, and that, that happens quite a bit. Um, microwaves not a real problem but people do burn things in it. Space heaters are also a problem and that's uh, obviously a heating equipment. If you have a forced air furnisher, that's the safest way to go because <clears throat> your heating unit is actually away from the living area so the hot air is created within the heating unit and it's ducked in to different locations throughout the residence. If you're going to walk away from something, if you can set a timer so when it dings it reminds you to go back and look and what happens is somebody will put something on the stove go to their computers and get caught up in a project and not realize that the food they were cooking they forgot about and now is on fire. Just only have on the top of the stove what you're going to cook. Um, another major cause of fires is uh, candles and of course the unattended candles um, can pose the problems and so I always stress you know do not leave the room with the candle lit in there. We have nationally um, lost hundreds of students over the last few years um, due to mainly frat parties and it's where um, lots of students are in, in housing, off-campus housing and um, they have parties and uh, consume alcohol and alcohol has, as we all know, has the uh, potential to impair your senses and it also impairs your ability to escape a fire.